Top Caesar's Palace, ladies and gentlemen, and Andy Griffith's suite. And the gentleman just joining us is Jerry Van Dyke, a most integral part of the Andy Griffith show. When we took a time out for a station break and commercial message, I was asking Andy Griffith a question. So, Jerry, would you mind if I just asked right Andy here. this particular question? Right. Incidentally, you've got a hell of a press agent here in nice. Andy Griffith. Well, he's a good friend. Not only a good friend, but he's a fine critic. Yes. Would I you mind know. if he did the review on you? <laughs> Not at all. I said, Andy, yeah. and I was thinking of Richard Chamberlain, who did about seven <laughs> years of Dr. Kildare, and then he had a lot of trouble because the movie people always thought of him as a doctor. Say, now, about yourself, if you had to do something other than a sweetness and light type of movie, would you have any problems, you think? To tell you the truth, I don't care. You don't uh, like it. No, I just did a picture, Jerry and I. I think I told you before, yeah. me and Mary Weather, and we did what I consider to be a strong story. Yeah. All of the characters in it were good. The point that we made, I feel, is necessary to be made now, and that is, why is, is isn't there some way that we can all try to get together and get along so that we can accomplish something? Yeah. That's all we try to say. However, yeah. uh, Universal Pictures want me to play. Uh, this kind of role for a while, then I can branch out and I can play various other yeah. kinds of things. Do you ever see facing the crowd? Oh, yes, of course I did. I saw the Sergeant Hargrove thing. No, that was uh, uh, No Time for Sergeant. No Time for Sergeant. Yeah. Uh, I also would like to find out, we're all waiting for the one nightclub where you started, when you started to tell me, but you never did get to it. The name of the nightclub. Oh, the very first nightclub? Yeah. Was the Blue Angel in New York City could have knocked me down because I thought the very first nightclub Andy Griffith ever played was probably a year and a half ago when he played Lake Tahoe. Jerry Van Dyke, as I said before, is a big part of the Andy Griffith show. Here's a lad who, there's no question of doubt in my mind, his talent is there, but probably he's had the obstacle of working against a famous brother. Have you ever felt that, Jerry, that Dick probably might stand in your way if your name was Lipschitz, maybe, Ginsburg, or some other name, that you might have a better chance of showing the real talent that you have. You don't believe that? Well, I don't right. see, uh, no. <laughs> my talent isn't any less whatever I do because Dick's my brother. You know, I show the same thing yeah. regardless. <clears throat> I think it's only, only an obstacle if in other people's minds it's an obstacle. You know, it's, yeah, it's that, I don't think that's going to see. I think five years is the answer. Uh, Jerry's young. And the, the point is this. Uh, uh, so I never made this point. <clears throat> Dick and I hit television situation on its rise. Jerry hit it on its decline. It'll come back up again. Or Jerry will make it in pictures. But here's another point. Dick Van Dyke cannot stand on a nightclub stage and tell a joke. He can't. I've worked with him. I know he can't. Uh, he can get out and memorize a card and introduce something. But uh, the two boys are, are different. And Dick has, I mean, Jerry has an edge in that he can not only act, but he can put on, I'm talking about some kind of fine nightclub act. Well, what do you do, Jerry, when you finish with Andy up in Tahoe, where you're now? Well, I go uh, work by myself. I work, I'm going to work some fairs, and I work clubs by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can't get Andy to go along with me. <laughs> well, then, I have to ask this question because I know that many times you've probably been harassed by people who say you're so much like your brother, you're so much not like your brother, but of course that's all the tricks of the trade. In other words, that's showbiz. Well, he was there first. He's a star. If any of my uh, television shows had taken off uh, and been a hit, why, I think it would be different. Uh, people are just, uh, it's natural to, uh, you know, he's, he's the one they know. One of them will. Sheldon Leonard thinks that Jerry Van Dyke has probably more talent than anybody in the business. Including his brother Dick. Yeah. Andy, please tell us here on the West Coast about your new show. There's a little bit of a muddle right now on what the show is going to be. Are you going to be the star? No. Well, what is it going to be? No, the show's called Mayberry RFD. Ken Berry, another client of Dick Link's. Oh, by the way, Jerry and I have the same manager. With Dick Link. Yeah. And Could Ken Berry. Can you Barry talent, maybe? <laughs> Don't laugh, Can you maybe. dance? <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. But Ken's the star of that show. Uh, it starts September 23rd, right? Yeah. 
and uh, I will be a guest in four episodes. I happen to be a guest in the first episode. Mm -hmm. The character Helen and I get married. Well, you finally get married. Yes, the character mm -hmm. Helen and I get married in that show. And the show's not about us. We get married, and then you go to, to a show about Aunt, the, the character Aunt B. But do you come back? And the tag. As a married man. In the tag, we are married, but we're on our honeymoon. I see. And then when, what happens? You don't come back at all after that? Yeah, well, I come back three times. Will you do more pictures than, than television in the future? Yes. I'll Dramatic? Uh, drama and comedy. Uh -huh. uh, as a matter of fact, we were just working uh, today, uh -huh. yesterday, yeah. on, uh, on a new story. I don't know what it'll be, but we're just starting. I'm the guy, ladies and gentlemen, who said Dick Van Dyke might make it in television, and then I said Andy Griffith, a great television star, but I don't think he could make it in cafes. The war is a little too deep for him. So that gives you a pretty good idea. Two out of two. We've been talking with these gentlemen high atop Caesar's Palace. We'll be back in a moment with our next guest, Ed Ames. But first, ladies and gentlemen, this message, particularly to those people who are planning a Las Vegas vacation in the very near future. <laughs> 